Chapter 4, Kybrothelion. Inside of Pirazuka's Zerzek, she was running around, like a trapped rat in a speeding cage. She did not know where she was going, but it felt like the end of the world. She ran down to look for the bunny she tried to eat. It bounced around the walls with fear in its eyes. She tried her best to grab it and put it back into the pen, but the pen was trashed by flailing tools and furniture. Suddenly, everything listed to one side and everything piled up into one corner, including her and the bunny. She hugged it close, and then her head was rammed with a giant locker. Guns and strange relics poured out and exploded. She panicked and let the bunny loose. She was catching on fire again. She opened the gates of her zerzek and ran out looking for water. But she was met with a flat and black metal floor. She ran around, burning. Then a sudden shower of ice-cold water enveloped her. She looked up and saw a black metallic humanoid with green eyes. They had sharp legs with no feet, only knife-like points. It towered over her with angry green slits for eyes. Pirazuka was both hurting and numb from the entire ordeal. The black humanoid spoke. Who is this Thillian? It looked at a black floating head that also had sharp green eyes. If I am not mistaken, it is a Terahyptian overseer, the floating head said. Why the hell is there a Terahyptian messing around with a scepter blade? The humanoid asked the floating head. Pirazuka sniffed. I am a Thillian. The humanoid looked at her. Yes, I know that. But you do come from Terra Hipped, right? Pirazuka shook her head. I come from Earth. The tall black metal humanoid, who is undeniably a Dutvatanian, walked closer. They kneeled down. A Thillian Earthling? <laughs> a long pause followed. The Dutvatanian quickly stood up with all their hands on their hips. Well, this is quite an interesting development, they said, before speeding off to a building. Pirazuka could see more clearly now. She was at some kind of Dutvutanian spaceport. Ships were flying in and docking with orderly clamping claws. She could also see more floating heads with green slits for eyes. What even was that Dutvutanian relic? Why did India give it to her? She's now in a completely different world. Sitting on the black metal floor, Pirazuka looked at the port. Its buildings rose high up into the black and green sky. Everything was technology, not even a green plant anywhere. A loud boom was heard. She turned her head and saw a large ship with four individual hulls. It bent down, presenting its cockpit down right next to her. Or from the side door came a Dutvutanian, but she was definitely a Thillian, green eyes and soot black skin. Pirizuka, she yelled. The dark Thillian ran to her and hugged her close. She was somehow very elated to see her. By Targarnil, I am so happy to see you. Pirizuka could not be any more confused. The dark Thillian let her go and straightened herself. Oh, excuse me, my name is Cyceris. I helped your mother to build your Zerzek, don't you remember? Pirizuka tried to collect her thoughts. She did know one Kybro Thillian who assisted her mother in the construction of her Zerzek. Pirizuka sniffed. You can understand me? Cyceris replied, Of course I can! She sniffed back. I can understand multiple languages of the Cabrian Omniri. <sighs> Pirizuka could not believe her eyes. Athelion has the inability to shed any tears, but she showed clear signs of relief, and she hugged her back. Cyceris clasped her arms around Pirizuka harder. The hug felt like it went on for ages. My sweet, what have you seen on Earth? I can tell that it must have been rough. Pirizuka paused to think. My job was for nothing, but then a red-haired Thillian in a white dress. Ciceris quickly put her finger on Pirizuka's nose. An admiron? Ciceris whispered with a stern tone. Pirizuka nodded her head. St. Cyrus's brow scrunched down with a wide gaze. <laughs> she is still alive, Aaliyah that is. <laughs> Pirizuka nodded, but then she said, There is also another one named e India. See, Cyrus could not believe what she was hearing. An Edmiron that can reproduce on their own. This made Say Cyrus walk off to Pirazuka's Zerzek. She went into it.